What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we're back in the War of the Worlds mod in Call to Arms, the Men of War Assault Squad 2 modern spin-off game. And in today's video, we have a whole lot of Germans facing one tripod right here. For the first battle we're going to be doing, it's about 300 Germans in this village. However, if they fail at killing this tripod, which my bet is they do, then we're going to add 700 more German soldiers to make it 1,000 Germans versus a mega giant tripod here from War of the Worlds. So guys, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if you think these 300 defensive Germans here can defeat the tripod. Let me know. Do you think they can do it? Do you think they can? Be sure to hit that like button as well. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 400,000 and we're super duper close. Would really appreciate your guys' support. Either way, guys, without further ado, let's get into this thing. Alrighty then, gamers. Let's go ahead and get right on into this thing. I'm gonna start in slow more per usual and see if this tripod can do it. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna go into normal speed. So the slow-mo for this is kind of useless when it's one enemy. <laughs> and an enemy at that who is super ultra powerful and does not die especially easily. Either way, the German forces are attempting to take it down, firing their petty little rifles up at it as much as possible. Here, I'm, I'm gonna join in on the fun a little bit here. I, I'm gonna do a little rifle firing. Okay, I gotta reload already. <laughs> Keep up the fire, boys. Don't let them look at you or you're probably dead. Let's just go with that. And I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god, how about a sniper? I'll take the sniper. Why not? There we go. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, how about this guy? Here we go. Alright, we got his other sniper rifle. And I'm dead. <laughs> this is not going especially to plan at the moment. Got a G36A2 right now. Let's just pepper this sucker. Aim for the eye, boys. Aim for the eye. We do have some rockets getting launched up at this thing as well. Someone in the last video uh, let me know that these guys did not actually come from space. I, I never read War of the Worlds, the book, by the way. Uh, so I have no idea. <laughs> but apparently they were underground. They came from the underground, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, and, and sounds very cool. I would love to read that book, actually. I think it's one of the ones I gotta add to my list here. Either way, we have so much infantry firing at this thing, but they're all just getting squashed by this laser fire that is coming out of this little squiddy thing and uh, killing a whole lot of our boys. Just every once in a while, you see a little jet of laser fire that just, yep, sprinkles out, kills a bunch of German soldiers, and that's that. Uh, <laughs> its shields are still up. You know you're about to kill it when the shields are down. Those little blue splotches right there are, in fact, the shields. Um, but the shields are still up, so I don't even know if we're anywhere near close to killing this thing at all. Let's zoom in on some Germans over this way, see if we can't angle it so we can see both the beast and the Germans firing. And yes, we can right here. The Germans giving it their all, but this is certainly an enemy that they probably were not expecting to see <laughs> ever in their entire lives. Uh, and this is actually the first time we've used the Germans. Um, in uh, Call to Arms War of the Worlds. So far, we've only really used the United States of America as a, uh, you know, combative presence against the War of the Worlds monster here. So perhaps the Germans can pull through and do it, although there's not exactly a lot of German soldiers left alive and this thing is still kicking. I'd say there's probably about 10 or so men on the battlefield currently, and uh, they are, yeah, they are dying. Let's uh, let's take over for this trooper here with the uh, old SM. He's dead. How about this guy? With the old SFG. Sprinkle up with some good fire. And we're dead. <laughs> How about this guy? There we go. And well, I think we're going to die pretty soon. Just, just give him heck, boys. And I'm dead. <laughs> you just do not survive for very long. <gasps> Wait. I, I think it might be dying. Hold up. Keep firing, keep firing. You might be going down. Did you hear that? Does that perhaps mean it's close to death? I couldn't tell. Okay, there's only two German soldiers left alive. I think it means we're close to death. That that 
noise. Okay, but all the Germans did end up dying. This thing did kill them all. Um, <laughs> but I think that noise meant it might have been weakening. So, uh, I think we gotta go ahead and run it back, but give the Germans their 1,000 soldiers to see if they can take care of this thing. By the way, look at that. 294 kills with this thing. Holy cow. That's insane. Okay, gamers, we now do have roughly 1,000 soldiers on the battlefield for the Germans. We've uh, placed free roaming squads, and then we've also got those 300 soldiers um, still alive here, too. So let's see if this infantry can manage to do it. Uh, this is the big test here, because infantry obviously has not been the backbone of a lot of these battles in the War of the Worlds mod. Uh, most of the time, the thing that kills these things is the Abrams or, you know, the strikers that we place on the battlefield. So this is definitely just sort of an ultimate test to see if we can actually get a kill using infantry only against these things. And I am going in slow-mo for just a little bit at the start of the battle here uh, while this thing racks up some kills so we avoid some of the oncoming lag. We do have quite a number of infantry squads here just surrounding this thing and peppering it with a whole lot of incoming fire, which is very, very good. Also, some of those AT rockets firing out, which is definitely going to be uh, the best friend to this infantry. Uh, it obviously packs the biggest punch against this thing, so that's definitely very, very good. Let's check in on how many kills it's got thus far. Uh, ooh, let's see. 60 kills so far, and it's only been like a minute. That is absolutely insane. The the output of fire from this thing is just bonkers. Let's bump it up a speed here uh, and let this thing really start tearing it up against these uh, German soldiers. Oh, is it dying? Oh, no, I think it's just sort of slouching. Nah, totally short. <laughs> no, I don't think it was dying at all. I think it just went up a little hillside there for a smidge. Wow, that's getting laggy. Holy cow, what just happened? Okay, nope, we're back to better FPS here. <gasps> Wait, it's going down. Oh! <gasps> It actually died! The Germans! Hans, get the Flammenwerfe! Let's burn this thing! Yas! Oh my god. The Germans actually managed to do it. They took it down. Wow, and there's still a lot of Germans left alive on the battlefield here. Well, you guys know what that means. We gotta add more of these tripods. <laughs> we gotta add some more. Let's, let's get more on the battlefield now. Alright gamers, now we have not one, not two, but three giant tripods going up against the German army here. I have a feeling that uh, the German army is not going to get away so easy this time, baby. No siree, Bob. They're going to have a bit of a bit of a tough time against these tripods here. Uh, so, yep, immediately we have just horrible impacts against the German army. Wow, even in one speed, this is, this is some lag! God dang, I mean, it's kind of expected. Alright, I tried adjusting a couple of settings. I don't think it helped. <laughs> I don't think it helped. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, you know, with a thousand soldiers on the battlefield, it's bound to be laggy. And I also think these monstrosities also do take up a good chunk of the CPU and uh, cause some lag on the battlefield as well. So it, it could definitely be a little bit tricky uh, to play in these battles. So, uh, either way, we've got some fire coming out from these bad boys, and they are just absolutely obliterating the front lines of the Germans. That swift victory uh, that the Germans got last time, I think, might be a pipe dream this time around against three of these things. But, with all of their numbers combined, maybe the Germans can manage to get a victory. Alright, let me adjust some settings again real quick. It is very, very laggy. I'll pause. All right, I turned the render distance way down. I didn't want to do that, especially with this mod, because uh, it's just so cool seeing the, the massive towering things in the dif distance. But I think it might help just a smidge. And it, it seems like maybe it is. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit less laggy at this point. Uh, but even still, it's pretty bad. I think there's just so many effects going on and guns being fired and soldiers on the battlefield that it just causes a tremendous amount of lag. Uh, most of these SMG troopers for the Germans are just about useless. It's really just the riflemen that seem to be contributing anything, uh, as well as the AT soldiers too, and the heavy machine gunners. But the SMG troopers, I just see them sort of standing around doing nothing, probably because they just you know, can't fire at great distances or anything along those lines, so they're just about useless. It seems like most of the Germans are centering their fire on uh, the original one of these bad Larrys over here, and the other two are almost providing backup fire, like this thing back here, I feel like hasn't even come forward. Let's check out the kill count on these things. Uh, right now, this one in the way back has 82 kills, 
This one in the front has uh, 80, nope, 90. And this one over here has 116. So there's still a lot of Germans left on the battlefield, representative by the sheer amount of lag that we are currently experiencing. Uh, you know, it just makes sense right there. Uh, but the Germans are at least getting some fire output in there. All right, let's bump it up a speed. We're, we're, we're recovering from the lag just a little bit. So let's bump it up a speed and see if these fellers can manage to do some stuff. Wow, the slaughter is coming in like absolute crazy. Come on, AT Rifleman. We, we need some more shots getting fired up at this thing. Let's weaken the armor with some AT rockets or something to take this monstrosity down. Oh, we got it. First one down. I repeat first one of these suckers is going down let's go boys okay that is a huge victory right there for the german army uh we'll see if they manage to kill the other two they are one third of the way through this battle and uh that one was being hyper aggressive too so i guess it is a pretty good thing they took that one out uh first and foremost take out the aggressor first uh there's so many german soldiers on the battlefield dude so many it's insane all right this thing crumbles to the ground now the germans just have two others to deal with here but the problem is these two others are sitting in the back just chilling just not even approaching so all of these uh german soldiers who are you know holding their positions back here are essentially ineffective right now because these things won't move forward oh my god this thing's still moving around a little bit <laughs> I thought like, oh no, is it coming back to life? Are the Germans about to get killed again here? That would be a horrible feature of this mod. That would just be so mean, wouldn't it? <laughs> My goodness. Um, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. We do have a few Germans uh, pushing forward on the left side over here, trying to go up against this thing and uh, trying to take her down. But I don't think they're going to get very far. Why don't we... Oh, nope. Maybe they are going to move forward. I was going to say, why don't we move these things forward? Um... But uh, it looks like they will on their own, which is good. So we can continue this battle pretty nicely here. All right, let's go into normal speed. I'd say, judging by the mini-map, you can see that at the top left here. Red are all the German soldiers. There's probably still like 200 to 300 German soldiers left alive on this battlefield. There's still quite a number of them uh, capable of firing at this thing. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to partake in the battle a little bit again. I'm going to get in here and uh, do some spam fire with the old G27. Oh, our position is under fire, and I'm dead. <laughs> you just die so quickly. Oh, God. All right, I'll take control of you, and I will move to the left. Let's get some movement going, boys. Come on. Let's get some fire out there. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> How about this guy? Just get some serious fire going, boys, and I'm dead. <laughs> There's just not much you can do. You just die so quickly. This guy got injured, but he didn't die, and he's dead. Come on. I don't really see any rockets going up there anymore either. So I think these things maybe honestly target the uh, rocket troopers first. They might be semi-intelligent creatures. I don't know the lore of this again. Uh, so I really don't know, you know, how intelligent these things are or if they, you know, know to target the, the things doing the most damage to them or, or anything along those lines. But again, I'm not really seeing much rocket fire or anything like that. So maybe they killed all of those guys already take over as this spec ops trooper and he's dead how about this guy <laughs> i'm trying to lend a hand a little bit here but it's just not working out too good is it yikes all right the giant tripods begin uh another rampage here they're moving forward uh we got the germans on the hillside over here doing a little bit of chiclet shooting at these things and they get spotted pretty quick and gunned down by the lasers yikes bro <sighs> This is just brutal to watch, man. It's just not nice. It's just not nice of these aliens to be doing stuff like this. Like, it's just some, some cruelty, some human cruelty. All right, this one has 270 kills and this one has 328. God dang, dude. They have killed so many humans. This is absurd. This alien invasion is not not bueno i am kind of proud that at least we managed to take out one of these monstrosities you know that that is pretty nice that we at the very least got that in the bag we're, we're not coming here without a single dub we're, we're just coming out of here a loser but not a not not too bad <laughs> you know it's it's not the worst thing in the world it's just pretty terrible uh 
<laughs> I love how it just looks down at you as you start firing at it. It's like, yeah, I see you, peasant. Time to die. <laughs> yep, and that is exactly what it is. All right, I'll take the last few Germans and just charge a mod forward here. There you go. We got one squad worth of Germans left alive. We're running them up, seeing what they can't do. And they are getting almost instantly vaporized here against this thing. Uh, make a stand, and he's dead. <laughs> and these tripods come out of this thing with 1,000 kills to one. <laughs> All these poor, poor German souls. It's brutal. It is brutal. <laughs> Either way guys, that's gonna be about it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy this Please be sure to hit the like button if you did subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future Either way guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload Thanks so much